In this video, I'm going to show you just how incredibly easy it is to install Docker on a Mac. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy, and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. All right, let's get started. Before going right into how to install, let's take a look at the requirements for Docker. If you're on a Mac with an Intel chip, then you need at least four gigs of RAM. If you're using a Mac with Apple Silicon, then there are no other requirements. So in my case, I'm on a Mac with Apple Silicon. So I'm just gonna click on the Docker desktop for Mac with Apple Silicon. We'll let that download. And once the download is complete, I will open that Docker image and then just simply drag it over to the applications folder. And that's it, Docker is installed. Now let's get Docker running in the background. To do this, just go to your applications and find Docker and open it. We can see here that the Docker engine is starting and here is Docker desktop. But we'll come back to this later. For now, let's open up the terminal and run our first Docker container. For this example, we're just gonna run the hello world container. So to do this, type docker run hello dash world and press return. This runs really quick. And here we can see that we have hello from Docker. So it went out and got the Docker image from Docker Hub and then created a new container with the image. And then it ran that Docker image and printed out hello from Docker. Now let's come back to Docker desktop and take a look around. Here we can see that our hello world image has exited and was last run 54 seconds ago. We can start it or delete it. On the left here, we can view our images, volumes, and dev environments. There's also a learning center where you can go learn more about Docker and how to best use it for your situation. This video is more about how to install Docker. So in this case, I'm not gonna be going over any of the other features. I will, however, show you one of the settings that I immediately change when installing Docker. So if I come up to settings, I can check start Docker desktop when you log in. This will make sure that Docker is always running and we'll just come down and click apply and restart. And that's all for this week's video. If you found this content helpful, be sure to like the video so that others can find it more easily. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, check out this other video where I talk about something really cool. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.